Hey everyone, uh, today we're doing a talking head video, so you can just chuck this on the second monitor if you want, there's no gameplay. Um, we're talking about how after about 10 years of playing this game, I think I've actually hit a limit with just, quote, juicing in the game. And I've, I've actually, for the first time in a long time, just thought, I just can't be bothered. And I'm doing this video for the people that also feel like this. Um, and to also give my opinion and, and how I've come to form that opinion. So for me, I've played the game since 2013. I, I first tried the game when Total Biscuit um, announced the game had come to Steam. <laughs> and me and my friend initially tried it. We weren't too keen on it. We'd never played an ARPG before. Eventually we got into it. And as the league mechanics have gone on and on and on, and the game's grown, and it's gone from just simply like magic farming Dominus to what it is now, we've really enjoyed it. But I'm struggling, to be honest, to enjoy the game. Probably, I'd say, over the last year, um, it, there's been this transition to just a crazy ramped style of PoE, and I know they're trying to adjust it in PoE too, but this video is for the people that are kind of feeling this way, and maybe their views aren't been represented, because there's a lot of streams out there, there's a lot of people that absolutely obliterate the game in a totally efficient manner, and there are people out there that play a lot as well, and they're just playing in a even though they're playing a lot, they're playing in a casual manner and they're enjoying themselves. But it's kind of like your opinion can be washed out if you're not the top 1% juicer or whatever. So I'm here to say that, you know, last league I farmed uh, a mage blood in two days with a strategy. We did some end game juicing. We got a mirror drop. In the past, I've had many guides get a lot of views and I've done guides and content on the game. So I know what I'm talking about a little bit. I'd like to think with the game. But at the moment, I am not happy at all with the state of juicing. So, when you're seeing videos like this, which explain, hey, I've made 10 mirrors in a day. Now, immediately, my brain goes to... It goes to, um, okay, this strategy isn't for me. Like I know how the game works at this point. And when you're generating that much currency, the one thing it always need, needs is initial investment. And so a lot of these strategies are straight gatekeeped away from people with a low, without a load of currency. And how do you get a load of currency? Maybe you get lucky or maybe you do a lower level investment strategy to then move on to the second tier of investment and blah, blah, blah. Now, for me... <clears throat> When I've played the game, I've always liked the thing of one day an item might drop that's super, super expensive. Um, however, what's becoming more difficult to put up with is how finicky the juicing strategies are and the gap. The most important thing is the gap between the two strategies. Strategy one being you play the game, you go into your tab and you think, okay, what have I got? I'm going to use a few scarabs most people won't do this because it's annoying so they'll go into their map and they'll think to themselves right i'm gonna run my map and i might use a couple of bis scarabs or probably not they might just run the map alk chisel valet maybe not even do that but you know they're just running a basic map the difference now between just running a map like <clears throat> your average old map and a strategy they're like two completely different games. Completely different games to the point where even myself, who knows how to do the strategies and could if they wanted to do them and afford them, it gets to a point where you just look and you, you kind of don't know why you're playing. Because I load in now and I think to myself, I could just run a map, but kind of what's the point? I'm never going to generate enough to probably purchase the high-end items I'm probably, it's going to take a long, long time to, to do that. And if if I do get a good drop, it's probably going to be worth a lot less because of how much stuff people are churning out. For example, like an Affliction League, say you're just playing on your own and after like just doing some basic maps, you finally get an unnatural instinct drop. Normally they're like 9, 10 div. In Affliction League, because everybody was churning them out, they were worth nothing. On the one hand, it's kind of nice that the items became cheap and affordable. <clears throat> On the other hand, it kind of gimps the average player into doing a strategy because all of a sudden, simply playing the game and waiting for one or two drops to perk them up, 
doesn't really work because they're not really worth anything. <clears throat> I'm beginning to get annoyed at just constantly having to keep up to date with strategies to feel like I'm not being an idiot, basically. So, for example, yeah, I've put these two abyss scarabs in because it's what I have in the in the tab and my map. But realistically, I know I'm completely throwing if I'm not doing the perfect atlas tree combo with it and sextants and maybe some other form of juice like the tree maybe you know uh, which eater to use maybe i do maven witness destructive play maybe i am you know getting loads of rogue exiles in the map maybe i'm meant to be going in my locker and using some combination and normally that's always been the case like the, that's always been the case that if you just map normally you think to yourself okay yeah I'm getting some stuff, some stuff's dropping, I'm making a little bit of currency, maybe not a lot, but I can't be bothered to put the effort in to go and do the next level of strategy, whereas now it doesn't feel like that. Now it feels like you almost have to do the strategy because it is so much different. The, the gap is so big that your average map compared to like chance to drop abyssal socket, extra abyss, extra abyss, guild, you know, a uh, I could go in if if I show you and when I did a map I had the following I had um I had tons of hordes I had double uh, um monsters spawning I had double extra abyss I had two extra abyss on here I had my tree cranked to be abyss um I was doing a map that allowed um, abysses to spread far and I, I was blocking league mechanics so more you know I wouldn't lose abysses and blah 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 and the and I was playing a meta build and it was like I was playing an entirely different game there was so much I basically used six portals carrying out the loot and you and I compare that to, you know I'm, I'm playing a meta build now because I feel like I have to because a normal build isn't great I've gone from basically playing puncture snipe and having to deal with rares and not doing very juiced maps to rolling a meta build and doing a bit of juicing and the two the two gaps that in content are, are massive it's not like all right i'm doing puncture and i'm doing a bleed bow and i can't do any juiced content because it's a bit awkward but i'm making a little bit of money so it's fine and, and i'll truck on through and i'll get my i'll get my items it's now gone to i'll try out the meta build and I'll see why it is. And I can sit here and absolutely screen wide blow everything up. And then my initial thought was, right, I can kill loads of rares. I can kill things quickly. That means I can juice. Then I'm start juicing my maps and I'm like blowing up entire worlds of monsters. And it's and I'm getting so much loot. And it's just an entirely different game. And so now when I'm playing PoE, all I'm thinking about is like, if I try to do some other piece of content, maybe like I do a bit of heist because I enjoy it. And I don't normally get FOMO, by the way. I want to be clear. Throughout my channel, my entire spiel has just been play what you enjoy and ignore everything. If divines are going up in price or down in price, just, just play what you want to play. Enjoy the game. Don't rush to get all your items and burn out. Da, da, da. <clears throat> but now when I'm playing, I'm literally like not FOMO'd. But it's almost annoying. It's to the point where I'm thinking, I don't even know why I'm doing heist. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. But my God, I could be absolutely a giga blasting a thousand monsters and like, like this guy making 10 mirrors a day. Because to be honest, the strategy he's doing isn't difficult, right? It's not like he's doing a strategy where you're like, hmm, he's actually farming. Like I used to remember people used to make like, this is how old I've played the game. People used to make a ton of money farming Uber at Ziri and hardcore with poison trappers. I think it was. Um, and they were doing hard content and they were being rewarded for it. And you were like, oof, you know, I could make a lot of money doing that, but I'm not sure I'd be able to do it all the time. Deathless, maybe I'll enrage the Val and then the enraged Val kills me if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Now, when you watch a, say, an, a, a something like this, this isn't difficult what he's doing. <clears throat> it's not a complicated process. He's got, um, if I just shift myself over, he's got some anarchy scarabs. He's got some more scarabs. He's got a quant build and he's just fully ramped, shooting everything, and everything is dropping. He's not doing anything in particular. In fact, he's making so much money, you can crash out, lag the server, that it doesn't really matter. So the knock-on effect of this is you feel like a prat for just playing the game normally. 
and I know high-end players will always have an advantage and they'll always min-max, but the the gap, I'm telling you, has never been this big. It's idiotic. And what's also happened is stuff like this. Like, I was telling a, a, a guild member about the price of those um, anarchy scarabs or uh, anarchy ghouls or whatever you want to call them. And I was like, oh, let's see if I've got one. Oh, I've got one. It's like 200C. Now, the problem with this is if you don't know you've got it, because it's tied into some strategy that's just mind-blowingly overpowered, you're going to feel like an idiot for using it, right? I could have been saving these the whole league, you know, rather than just running them for a bit of fun. There's the side of, well, just run it, enjoy yourself. It's a borderline single-play game. I've always been of that opinion. But now it's reached this level, for me, where it's just bugging me. I'll be honest, it's just bugging me. I just feel like... I'm at this position where I'm going to sell this scar, this let's call it a scarab, whatever, this ember, for probably 200c. Now, I know the person buying this thing. This isn't like a rare item. This isn't a pair of gloves that the guy's decided to purchase off me because it, it whatever, it fixes his build. No, he's buying this as an investment and it's going to make him more money. So I'm selling this for 200 chaos, thinking to myself, well, yeah, I'm never going to make 200 C off just using the, the one. I don't have the Atlas tree combination for it. I don't have all of the combos. I've not been on Reddit or YouTube or watched the guide on how to absolutely min-max it as to the reason it's 200 C. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sell it then you just feel bad. You didn't get to use the overpowered thing. Somebody else got it and made a load of money. Then the market goes up because people are buying it. And it just gets in this stupid place where you, you have things drop that you're never going to use just because of they're tied into some strategy where the, the gap is too big. Okay, like you, maybe it's the power, the combinations or whatever, but when you're going onto your scarab tab and I see this thing drop, I haven't updated my filter so it didn't ting or anything. I had a price check and I was like, what? This is 1.2 divs. Now, let's read what this does. <clears throat> Divination cards which drop have a 20% chance to drop as a full stack. Now, to me, my brain and most people's brains will go, right, if I stick this in my map tab and I run something that has something cool that drops as a full stack, Apothecary, Mage Blood. You know, you've got your, your mirror cards, your mirror shards for mirrors. You've got your doctors for headhunters. My brain goes, well, I'm not going to drop one of those cards in this run, which means they won't have a chance to drop as a full stack because not only has the card got to drop, it's then got a one in five chance to be a full stack or a four in five chance to not be a full stack or however the hell it works, right? So this is something I can't use. There's no way I can use this item. So now I have to sell it. Because otherwise, I'm going to feel like a tool for running it. <clears throat> or, my other option is I sit down and I look at the combo and I look at the Reddit page or I look at the YouTube video and I figure out why it's so expensive and um, I give it a shot myself. And then probably, if I have enough investment, I can do it and then all of a sudden, I'll get a few big drops and then I'll become the juicer and now all of a sudden I'm sat because it's worked, the strategy's worked. Now I'm having to sit and think, well, that strategy just worked. I just made a shit ton of money. So why would I do anything else? So now I'm going to have to sit and trade for sc scarabs of my, of my own, right? Whereas it used to be, and I've played the game for like 10 years, it used to be people had strategies and they would make a bit more money, right? And they would grind out that strategy and yeah, they would make good good money. It might be like, <clears throat> I remember my friend was quite a, whatever you want to call it, a juicer. He used to play hardcore and he used to manage his elder blobs and he used to farm burial chambers and he'd always in hardcore um, solo cell phone get himself a headhunter. He got it a lot quicker than me, but I knew eventually I, I would get it. You know, if I, if I played enough, I would um, eventually get the doctor card dropped naturally. I wouldn't juice quite as hard, but just a little bit. And the disparity was large, but not crazy. Nowadays, the disparity is so big that it doesn't matter how much I play the game. I could sit and play the game for the next three months straight. I will never experience this unless I sit down and really, really focus on doing the strategy. And what happens is when these strategies uh, come out... Um, 
it can do things to people that really annoy them i'll be honest like i'm trying to speak for you the normal player like let's say you've got lucky you had a few really big drops early on you've had some divine drops you've got a good build and your league's been going strong and you're playing a lot and you bought a mage blood um let's have a look right you bought a mage blood and i know since the dawn of time prices have gone up and down but i'm telling you it, it never was quite like this I, I swear so let's have a look at um unique armors right let's have a look at um let's say mage blood <coughs> sorry uh where are we unique uh can we see mage blood or am i like tripping accessories yeah mage blood right <coughs> so you might buy a mage blood when it goes up on April 5th. Now, if you've bought a mage blood on April 5th, people will say, well, you were sweaty anyway. You got that. It probably allowed you to do more content, which let, let you make more money. So the whatever devaluation doesn't matter. But let's say you're the average Joe and somehow you stumbled across some big ticket items and you've sold them and you bought your, ma you bought your mage blood for like whatever it was or 30,000 chaos, right? And this strategy comes out and everybody starts farming that is the sweaty guy that is min max to hell. And the level of difference is so big that the strategy just takes over the market. And overnight, you lose 10,000 chaos. Now, this happens all the time. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes way back in the years, you might buy something and it'd lose some money. But this just happens consistently now that these big, these big strategies just tank everything and can kind of wreck the whole market. And if you're the average Joe, you might just turn in tomorrow and price check it and think, I've lost 10,000 chaos. That is so much time that I don't have. And it just makes you feel bad. <clears throat> um, I'm not trying to say that there should be no juicing and that there should be no end game, you know, farming or anything like that. But what I'm saying is the game now, and I speak to a lot of people that play the game, they kind of feel dumb for literally not doing these strategies because the the level is just so different so first of all you need a build that can handle it like for example the 10 mirror strat it needs to be able to handle all of these rogue exiles blah 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 so from the get-go when you start in your new league you're already thinking there's probably going to be some busted strategy that is going to take over the game so i need a strong build that eliminates some fun options for you um then da, da, da. now there'll be the opposite people saying well if you're really bothered about that then you're equally as sweaty and you know you're probably going to roll a meta build anyway yeah i do kind of agree there but again and, I, and i'll shut up now and i'll end the video but the difference has never been so big I'm telling you, like, it, it's actually become annoying now where there's, there's so many, like, gimmicky strategies that are so much better than regular mapping that I'm, I feel like I'm going to have to check every every single thing for price because if I accidentally use this Scarab, I've wasted a Divine because I didn't quite do the strategy. You know what I mean? Like, most of these are 2C. Then you're like, oh, that's 30C. This one is, this one's 1C. It's, um... Whether they're not tested the leagues or whether item quantity and rarity is broke and party play, to me, the the juice should come with my builds got stronger and stronger and stronger and I'm doing more content and I'm able to add a few more packs of monsters to things. But now it's like you're not just adding a few more packs of monsters to things, you're kind of fundamentally breaking the game to a point where servers are crashing and the reward is just infinite currency that that a regular player can never generate. A normal player, f f six years ago, could farm Burial on their own and eventually they'd get a Headhunter, right? The guy that was juicing might get one way quicker, but they both could kind of do the same thing. One guy wanted to play at his own pace and not have to trade for a load of juice. The other guy was a bit more sweaty and he kept it going. Whereas now, there is no instance where a regular player will experience what the top-end strategies are doing and they'll never catch up to them just through playing or getting lucky because they're just generating so much stuff so quickly that it just it can just tank the whole game immediately. So it's almost like I could just sit here and think, you know what, I'm just going to... I'm just going to farm, farm a few maps and I'll wait till Mage Blood to 40 div and then I'll buy them. 
or you know it, it just becomes there just becomes this weird thing in your mind where you're like should i buy that or is it about to tank or should i do that strategy or is it about to be nerfed like for example everybody sat spamming opening maps so they could get 50 divines a map maybe only a few people did it but because they rushed their atlas they were playing a metal build and they were sweaty and they were ready to take advantage of the craziness they took advantage of it and bear in mind this does always happen like the meme says abuse early and abuse often or whatever it is but i swear man it was never this bad it it, it has got to the point where i'm just like it's not that i can't be bothered to play but i just feel like why am i running around doing some tier 16 maps with a single abyss scarab when if i just sat and i watched a youtube video and i just unfortunately bit the bullet spent my money on traded you end up doing a strategy that just makes so much more currency that everything else feels stupid and how i describe it my friends describe it is you're stuck in limbo a lot of people i feel will be stuck in limbo because there's on the one hand you want to do it and you know how to do it and there's nothing wrong with it but what ends up happening is like if i start doing that strategy i know it's going to work it will work eventually I'll, I'll make my returns and i'll start making bank but then you kind of locked into the strategy because everything else just feels meaningless and then if you don't do it you kind of just like what is like what am i even doing not doing the strategy i'm an idiot you've always had that conflict in your brain when playing this game but the gap has never been that big and i'm just a bit tired of it 